I'm Pamela Geller, President of the American Freedom Defense Initiative. The following shocking video took place at an Ivy League school, Columbia University in New York City. Students were asked if Planned Parenthood should fund and support female genital mutilation. So would you support Planned Parenthood funding for clitoridectomies? Um, for clitoridectomies, that's the same thing. That's, that's female circumcision. circumcision. Of course, yeah. If, yeah. If, I believe it's, it's it's up to the it's it's up to whoever wants to actually perform that. But I definitely think it's up to that that singular person. The government. Regardless of their age. Oh, absolutely. Is that similar to an IUD? I'm like not super no. educated on the topic. No. It's like a cultural practice. Yeah. In like Africa normally, right? Families are choosing that they want this. It's okay. I mean, who am I to say no to, to what somebody wants to do? Okay. In that sense, it's their body, right? Would you support Planned Parenthood funding for female circumcision? Yeah. I mean, if it's like what the family wants. What about you? I don't know. How do you feel? I've actually read <laughs> a lot about it in other I countries. Haven't, so I don't know. Yeah. And like, people are constantly going to other countries and fighting to end that. So that's a little. I didn't know about this. I mean, there's a yeah, movement to end male circumcision, too. If that was what somebody's choice was, then I would say that, then sure. But I think Planned Parenthood is all about a woman's right to choose. So would you support Planned Parenthood funding for female I, circumcision? I would, yeah, absolutely. If it's pro-choice, it's up to everyone, each his own. Also, like gets rid of female like pleasure from what I've read, yeah. but I'm not exactly sure if that, like how how much meaning they can have an orgasm or whatever. Yeah. I mean, my my tendency is to say like if there are like not stand in the way of people's cultural traditions, mm -hmm. but on this particular one, I don't know if I could provide an answer just because I don't know enough about female circumcision. It sounds mm -hmm. like genital mutilation. Mm -hmm. And, like, if you could fast forward, if the female... Well, it had... is. I mean, some people consider it to be genital mutilation, but yeah, then, then I you know, it's, but it's <laughs> cultural, you know, so a lot of people would find it culturally insensitive if you called it genital mutilation. Yeah, that's a tricky one. I think that's sort of, I don't know, a, any way you fall out on that, somehow you're, you're going to be, a, you know, a little bit insensitive. So would you uh, support Planned Parenthood funding a female circumcision? No, I would not. You wouldn't? Why yes. wouldn't you support it? Because I think it's part of a woman's right to own their own sexuality and to have like pleasure yeah. <laughs> about it. And it's something they should have the right to choose. I didn't know that that was not funny. AFDI has been on the front lines exposing the truth about the jihad threat and encroachments that Islamic supremacists and their leftist allies are making in our culture. No mosque here. We thought it was time, now, to show the truly shocking reality of support for jihad on campus, the ignorance among college students of the basic principles of our nation and our civilization the corruption of political elites, and so many other related issues. That's why we've begun this new exclusive video series 
of never seen before videos with people who do not realize what they're revealing about the deep corruption that the left has introduced into American society. Thank you, and please support our work.